Hey, update for September 19th, Saskatoon uh, Wikispeed. Uh, trying to explain how we're, uh, we're doing the bolt together joints. So this is a piece of one inch uh, square tube. This is a piece of three quarter inch square tube. Uh, they fit nicely into the inside of the two inch square tube. Um, in fact, they, they fit very snugly. It's so snugly, in fact, that I can't push this on right now. And if you saw the video, you know that I hammered on it pretty good. So what these are is they're bolted into this tube. If this is the main length of your frame, this is bolted in, I guess, vertically like this. And then this tube is slid over top. And then this, I guess that would be sideways like this, slid over top, and then this is bolted through here, and that gives you your uh, your, your joint. So the, for the four inch square tube, it's actually three pieces of inch and a quarter tube, which we already stock, which we've already used in, in uh, the rest of the car. Uh, this, because I'm using two inch tube for Weston's uh, scale model, is a piece of three quarter inch tube that I bought for other purposes and a piece of one inch steel tube that I just happen to have. So again, you're taking the tube and instead of welding this joint like this, you are bolting this using a spacer to make sure that it's aligned on the side and on the front so where it works well with all the rest of the contracts on the car. And then that's these two pieces that fit snugly bolting through uh, from the bottom up so that this tube is only impeded by the head of the bolt. Then you're sliding this over top and bolting it either from the front or from the back so that it doesn't impede the uh, suspension module on this side or uh, I can't remember what's going on this side. Anyway, um, that's kind of how it fits together. Uh, I hope that's a little easier to follow.